about 18 months ago, I found this dog in the Spanish countryside. Blind, deaf, and screaming out for help. I went into the bushes, I put my hands in, and I pulled out what I thought was gonna be a cat. Instead, I pulled out a beautiful, cute little puppy. Now, about 18 months later, here she is living with me in the UK. At the time of recording, she's been here for almost four weeks with me. It's been quite a rocky time. It's been a lot of fun. See, if you haven't seen my other video about finding this puppy out in Spain, but when I found this puppy, I literally had no idea what to do in terms of looking after a young dog because she was literally about two days old. So because she was so young, um, I basically had to be the mother. I had to buy a formula milk, which was expensive. I had to feed her like every two, three hours. I had to clean her bum all the time, help her go to the toilet. So it really was a massive, uh, it really was a massive challenge. Managed to get through it. Her progress so far, she's doing really, really good. Her first week for the first few days, she was super well behaved. We let her be on the sofa for a little while. After a few days, and she started to let some of her more cheeky behaviors come out. No fucking way have you done that. What have you done? Hmm? What are you gonna show me what you've done? Do you have to show me? What the shit is that? No, not good. This, this is bad. What else have you done? She started to rebel a lot more. She starts having tantrums. She's trying to be blocking me on the stairs. When you'd be walking her on the lead, she'd turn around and start biting the lead. You managed to take your muzzle off, haven't you? How have you managed that? I think she's incredibly smart, but um, she's also really hard-headed. So it's like, she does always want to be the boss. You leave my bag alone. Hmm? Did you want more cheese treats? The, the the muzzle has only really been just to try and stop her from biting the lead. Other than that, she's actually like really well behaved. I mean, she is still pretty dominant, but I'm hoping that that sort of comes to an end at some point. I figure I'm probably going to be fighting her for a while. Here you go then. Good girl. You want to show everyone your cute face? Show everyone your face. Oh, you're very cute. It's been amazing, it's been really fun, going on all these walks, exploring through all of the bushes, learning so much about dogs. Oh my God, I really thought I knew about dogs, but I have to say, community of people here so far in the UK, surprisingly here in London, people have been really nice. Yeah, it's been a super cool journey so far. She's still a little bit scared of other dogs though, even though she might look a bit big and gnarly. Um, a couple of times that a dog has given her a little nip and she's really been a bit upset about it, been a bit freaked out. Haven't you? You don't really like it so much. So, for now, she's going to be living with me here in the UK. We're going to try and get ourselves back out to Spain, isn't it? We can carry on living a good life out there. At the moment, you're in the city. Not that she really minds. You don't really mind the city, do you? No. As long as you get to go on four hours of walking a day. Yes. Look at how cute she is. 